What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and let's talk about New World. So as you guys may or may not know, New World is having a fresh start server come up in October 15th as well as releasing to console. But what I want to talk about in this video is my personal playthrough as a solo player, not swiping completely by myself, what I think of the game and whether it is worth your time investing. Now, this is like the third time I've tried to record all this, so bear with me. I'm going to try to keep it nice, short, and sweet. If you're like me, you want an MMO you can really sink your teeth into that's going to kind of reward you for your time. You're probably tired of ESO, Diablo, you know, whatever. Is New World something that you want to invest your time in? So I'm going to go through the leveling, the story, all the trade skills, uh, population numbers, uh, all kinds of benefits, in-game PvE, PvP. We're going to talk about all that in this video, again, from like a solo player's perspective. Now, when it comes to the leveling just a tldr on this one it's going to take you about 50 to 60 hours to max out a character i highly suggest you just stick with the storyline all right just stick with the storyline that is the best way to level unless you have friends that can power level you and that's something we can talk about later the reason you want to do this for one you need access to a heart gym a heart gym is kind of like your ultimate ability so eventually you're going to unlock that anyway now character creation uh re really not that good I, I will tell you guys once you lock in your face your your countenance uh, it's stuck. There's no changing it later. Yes, there's a lot of transmog and you know cosmetics and stuff later, but your face, that's it. So be sure you're happy with what you got. But yeah, I absolutely hate leveling. It, it, it is an utter disdain of mine, but it honestly wasn't that bad. I actually had a really good time doing it. The graphics are pretty stellar. And the biomes at which you have to go and do you know, your quest lines in, uh, they're, they're, they're very distinct, you know, very unique. Uh, it, it's actually some of the places are, are actually pretty beautiful. Now, there's a lot of trade skills you can get into and pretty much all the resources you find at the beginning of the game can eventually be turned into in-game materials. So it doesn't really matter what you do in New World, you're not really wasting your time. So that is some things I, I definitely like about it. So you, you also get to kind of choose like, like your factions, very similar to the Elder Scrolls Online. You can do Syndicate and there's a couple other ones. And the really cool thing about this is that it actually does have real world benefits. So for example, if your faction controls a town, you actually get discounts on selling and crafting and you know things like that. And one thing I did notice when I was leveling, there's always people doing everything like I assume that the population was going to be super low. There's no one playing this game. You take a look at Twitch, there's only like 300 people watching New World at any given time, but that's not very representative of the player base. There wasn't a single town that didn't have a metric crap load of people. There's events always going on. They're doing chest runs. They're doing these elite mutation runs in the dungeons. There's always PvP groups. There is always something to do, and I was just completely blown away and overwhelmed. Now, I will say, if you do plan on delving into New World, and we'll talk about all the PvP and stuff that like like that later i do suggest you guys go to newworlddatabase.com essentially new world database has every single feature you could ever want want to even think about it is an invaluable resource for new world so if you have questions about crafting where to find certain npcs named gear items attribute points all of that everything is located on that website and it is going to to absolutely carry you if you use it to the full potential. Pretty much top whatever you want in the search bar and it's gonna pull something up. Now with any MMO, there are a lot of learning curves. So you know, for example, once you get to end game, one of the things I was really worried about is like, okay, man, I just finished leveling. You know, I, I started leveling. Uh, and uh, one more thing, you, you don't have to level one character. You don't have to level like eight or nine different characters for different builds and different races. It's not like that. You have weapon skill lines. So once you get to level 65, as long as you max out all your weapon skill lines, you're good to go. You can run any build at any time, anywhere. And the awesome thing is you can actually save certain gear setups that you want to do and you can quickly swap between them with simply just a press of a button. Uh, one thing I do very much enjoy about New World is you don't need add-ons to play the game. Like no add-ons is going to give you any benefit besides like maybe a little bit uh, darker crosshairs, a little bit different shape crosshairs because everything in PvE and PvP is pretty much a skill shot. Now, if you're on controller, mind you, in PvE, you do have like an auto lock feature, which is kind of annoying to kind of work around. Another worry I had was like, okay, there have been people who have been playing this game since launch. They have literally thousands of hours in New World. How can I possibly compete with them in PvE and PvP? What, how am I going to get my best in slot gear? Surely I need groups to do this. Uh, not really, guys. Um, I got to in-game pretty much what I did. I spent 60 hours leveling, experienced the story, leveling up some trade skills. I spent another 40 hour grinding some of the dungeons that I needed for the appropriate gear. And that's all. So about 100 hours invested 
missed it and I was already at in-game. Now, with that being said, there is a lot of in-game knowledge that you're just not going to know. You're not going to know unless you just play the game, play the builds, play the different weapon skill lines, play the dungeons. There's, there's a lot of nuances that will just come to you over time. Not something I can really explain in this video, you just have to experience it for yourself. With that being said, that kind of has a high skill cap, a high skill ceiling, especially in PvP. For example, the muskets, the fire staff, stuff like that, they're all projectile based weapons, so you have to be able to lead your shots, and there's all kinds of little tricks out of lead your shots, there's a little bit of movement and exploits, and yada yada. All that will be addressed eventually when Amazon Game Studios launches on console on October 15th. The reason I'm so excited and I want to talk about this with you guys is that there are fresh server starts on October 15th, as well as crossplay and everything releasing to console. What does that mean? That means even if you are super hesitant to hop into New World, you know, you feel like you're at a disadvantage, you, you're not going to be able to get the gear that you need, you don't have the money or resources to get where you need and, and at a quick amount of time. The good thing about the Fresh Start servers is everyone starts off in the same playing field, doesn't matter how long you have played New World. And you best bet that's what I'm going to do, even though I'm you know, approaching a super in-game status, I'm still going to re-roll a new character on the Fresh Start servers because that's when the game is most fun everyone on the same playing field you don't have anyone monopolizing the auction house everyone has absolute shit terrible gear no one has any sort of competitive advantage because of the time they invested everyone's starting fresh so the more time you actually invest in the fresh start servers the more it's actually going to benefit you in the long run now I could go super in depth on the game mechanics and you know how all the attribute systems work. I'm gonna leave that for you guys to kind of discover on your own. I'm gonna try to keep this video nice, short, and sweet, and kind of give you my judgment on whether you should you know even play this game to begin with. Um, at the start of the journey, I, I really didn't want to do this. I thought it was going to be a waste of time. And the more I played it, the more I kind of got interested. And, and there's, there's there's amalgamation of different builds and theory crafting. There's no really best in slot gear. There are uh, some gear that has illegal perk combinations that you can't really roll on any other pieces of gear, but they offer you a very minimal advantage of best. So next question you may be asking, is this game pay to win? It is absolutely not pay to win. The only pay to win aspect, it, it's more of like, pay to get to in game slightly faster it's it's there's not really pay for convenience like elder scrolls online they have you pay for a craft bag and eso subscription bank space you know inventory slots like that game is designed for pay for convenience new world just simply isn't the only pay to win mechanic i can possibly see in new world are these potions that are very very expensive to craft and they do offer you some advantages in pvp that most people don't really have access to you know for example extra health and resource generation which goes a long way but there's not a lot of people running them and if you are running them in like oprs or 3v3s uh your cringe get alive so I'm gonna kind of set some expectations. If you are coming from ESO, if you're trying to 1VX, this is a very, very tough game to 1VX in because what I'm dealing with now are the veteran players who have played for thousands of hours. They know exactly what to do, how to counter every build, the location, terrain. It is tough to 1VX. Now, with that being said, when I come across casual players, it's much more palatable. I can get 1v2s, 1v3s, you know, pretty consistently. Now, what I'm really looking forward to is a fresh start service and a bunch of new people on console that are, you know, just will be brand new to the game. So that is going to kind of flood the, the, the PvP arena to where you can actually have some pretty decent, you know, 1VXs. And the good thing about the, like the PvP, like you don't have to have like in-game gear material is because it kind of weapon scales you. You know, for example, if you have 600 item level, the cap is 700 item level. It scales all your gear up to 675 to where you're not at too much of a disadvantage. So PvP is pretty robust. Like, like I said, the theory crafting is absolutely crazy. There's no like super strong meta builds. Yeah, there are certain builds that work better than others. That's just the way it is with you know any MMO. But there is a unique play style for everyone. And this game is all about having fun. You can get into some really crazy shenanigans when you start really delving deep into the into the build crafting and theory crafting. And again, what's really fun, like your one character, it can literally do everything. You want, you want to re-roll, you want to waste resources. I mean, literally, literally everything is cooked into your character, your trade skills, uh, you'll pretty much run any class that you want. Um, it's awesome. So maybe you want to just chill, play with the musket build, sit in the back, pew pew people. Maybe you won't be a brawler or bruiser, get in people's face and stun lock them for six or seven seconds at a time and teabag them and emote them while you have them perma stunned on the ground. I, that's ha I've had that happen to me many a times. It's super frustrating, but if I was in that position to do so, I'll do the exact same thing. 
so that's kind of like what i really like about new world i'm gonna tell you guys right now there are some cons to it you know you know for example the movement is kind of sluggish uh it is very taxing on your machine my uh my computer i mean i have like a 3070 you know a pretty decent you know ram graphics card it does kind of struggle to run new world when i first starting up you know maybe that's a rig issue um i don't really know i don't i don't know how this is going to launch on console it might be absolutely phenomenal i don't know i do know it does have some hellacious pc requirements and it's not very optimized so that is definitely one con uh, it will take you a little while to kind of tweak some of your graphic settings if you need help with that kind of reach out to me uh in the comments or stop by the live streams i've been live streaming this every day so if you guys want to stop by you know twitch.tv yt uh no excuse me you know, twitch you know, fucking horcrux yt you know whatever the twitch thing you know i've been streaming on twitch and youtube i'm probably just going to consolidate everything to twitch um if i'm being honest with you guys um the youtube I, I i would like to play a lot of music and it gets copyright stricken and it doesn't get shared and it's just kind of uh that makes the streams not very fun i like to you know play the music that i want to instead of a, a bunch of you know bullshit copyright stuff but uh yeah guys like listen stop by the streams see me play it i will be streaming later you know after i post this video i'll probably be streaming you know five or six hours so if you want to see what's an above average pvp player you know can do you know kind of stop by the stream by no means am i a pro because there's still a lot that I don't know. There's a lot of class matchups I don't necessarily know how to play against. I do get frustrated. It's pretty funny. I mean, it is a frustrating game, but it is frustratingly fun, if that makes sense. It's definitely better to play with friends. I'm going to tell you that right now. If you are trying to play solo, you better have the mental fortitude of St. Joan. Because it... You're going to have to laugh it off, bro. There, there's going to be a lot of... I, I've probably died like, like, like 2,500 times. And it's a... Uh, it's a tough life out there so if you do want to play new world get you a buddy uh, a buddy system is going to enable you to have so much more fun in this game um, i'm a masochist i enjoy pain and misery so i play solo and uh, to be honest if you want to get really good at new world play solo you're gonna get shit on a lot but the moment you don't get shit on and you actually turn on people it is so rewarding but uh, that's that's just the competitive advantage of me i'm a pvp or you know you know, through through and through uh pve man and pve is actually pretty good the, the raids are pretty fun there's a lot of real world events um they're not too challenging so uh, the way the pve system works is like you have your basic dungeon you have mu mutation one two and three so mutation one two and three it steadily increases the uh, difficulty of your the npcs in the dungeon health you know and and and, and you know stuff like that damage and then also it adds these debuffs once you get to you know mutation three uh it's tough you better be geared out for mutation threes and there's also like a, i won't say a time trial but how quickly you complete the excuse me how quickly you complete the dungeon actually increases your rewards at the end so it does give you some incentive to actually try um, i've actually been having a lot of fun in the pve kind of been maxing my builds and just kind of blowing through content a lot of the bosses you know you can't get these tanks with these ego checks it's like oh blah 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 if you're gonna pull it you want to tank it well if you're good enough you can pull and tank and dps all at the same time so anyway i like proving points on those dungeons especially glacial tarn you don't need a tank for that guys okay i can solo it on m2 no problem everyone tell me to stop pulling you know what T time is money brother you know what i mean don't just sit just sit here and be a keyboard warrior just get through that shit but but uh, queue times aren't that bad uh, again there's always something to do um when it comes to you know, pvp pve there's always people queuing in chat uh, you can read global chat oh and one more thing i didn't talk about there there is proximity chat uh which is pretty awesome uh, that has been a feature that haven't been implemented in too many games where the proximity chat does kind of bring the the game to life and there's always people in all the towns you can even play like a mini guitar hero and people can tip you for playing music and speaking of music you play music you actually get a lot of really juicy buffs so i uh, don't sleep on a lot of the trade skills a lot uh, most of the trade skills you know like i said at the beginning of the video all those resources and stuff you accumulate kind of transfer into in-game gear and there's really not like a like a bad trade skill to have they're all useful in in-game but uh, i'm not gonna ramble anymore guys this is kind of new world um in a nutshell i don't want to get too far in detail i just want to kind of put this video out there kind of get the youtube algorithm cogs a uh, turn again i do miss you guys i look forward to uh, producing more content for you all it's probably just gonna be pvp stuff i'm probably gonna be doing a lot of streaming because quite frankly there's not any new world content there's a guy for literally everything so me contributing to that diluted pool really doesn't benefit anyone when you can just rarely find that 
information online or a new world database i'm looking for some other games to play so if you have any suggestions kind of let me know down in the comments we are going to be streaming ashes of creation when the beta drops so be ready for that and if you guys just just want to chit chat stop by the discord let me know stop by on twitch i really appreciate a follow on twitch which is horcrux yt but yeah, I would really appreciate you guys' support over there. And thank you guys for stopping by the streams. I know this isn't ESO, but uh, a lot of you all still stop by and you know, say hi. You're, you're, you're still sub to me on Patreon and YouTube memberships. I don't know why on God's green earth you guys are still sub to me after all this time. But listen, I do really appreciate each and every single one of you i'm not i don't forget you i read your guys' names pretty often i know i know who's supporting the channel and trust me if we ever get to the point where we can make this into a living a full-time occupation i got you guys all right uh, that's really all i have to say a new world is a pretty good game it's definitely worth your time yeah there's some little bugs and you know inconveniences here but overall i'm having an absolute blast and if you guys want to play together sometimes come hit me up in the live streams you know kind of whatever uh, we'll make some community nights of it it'll be fun but with all that being said thank you guys for watching and i will catch you all in the next video peace